Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another show, Soccer As We Like It, the main United director on the channel for United and football fans, the best and biggest fan channel in the United States. Welcome to the show. Don't forget to smash and like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you very much. Brentford won. Manchester United won. This, what did you see? What did you watch today? What did I see? What did I watch today? What I saw was an absolute shambolic, pathetic astronomically poor performance from this team. We just come up the high from knocking out the scouts to come and watch this. I'm sorry. This was just not good enough. Brentford are 15th to the bottom of the table. This is May, April. If it was, the, the season hasn't just started. It shows where they are because how bad they are. But this team today, absolutely obliterated, outplayed, outpoured, outschooled, outcoached this Manchester United team. Are you still with me? This was unacceptable. From the, apart from Onana and a few of the defenders, I'm going to just say Verana and the low. Other than that, and the goal scorer, Mason Mount, everybody else was absolutely rubbish. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to dis dishonor this team, but these players are just not good enough. They score. This was planned daylight robbery. If they had won this game, this was the, being the biggest bank robbery in the history of football because we did not deserve. They hit the post four times. If they had better finishers, they would we would have been done in the first half. We were just not there. Absolutely invisible. How do you play Kobe Mainu and McTominay in the midfield? When you fully know uh, uh, Scooby-Doo is going to be disappeared completely. I'm sorry. This Tony and his Brentford colleagues should have destroyed this United team. It's like United planned a robbery. They went there, they stole the money from the safe. And were, they did not plan to have a getaway driver. As soon as they came out the bank looking for the driver, boom. Sorry, your hands up. That was how bad it was. You score a goal. You failed the play all day. You have been absolutely pathetic. You scored a goal, and all you need is two minutes to get yourself together. You couldn't even fucking do that. I'm sorry. This is not good enough. This is a shambles. Absolute shambles. So Brentford deserved to get a result. Onana kept us in the game. But look at the chance, the second goal, the equalizer goal. Look at Wamba Saka just standing. I mean, and they cut the ball back. Who was with him? The guy was on his own. He had all, he could have even had a cup of tea, had, had, had a cigar, had a drink, uh, and a cup of salsa, and he would have scored because there was no one beside him. Yeah, we got two more injuries on top of this malarkey that we've just seen, but this is just not good enough. Did you know, I'm going to pull up a stat which is going to shock you. I'm going to tell you this, this is going to shock you, mate. Brentford, you look at this, I'm going to read this stat out for you, and this is absolutely unacceptable. Brentford became the third side since 2009 to have 30, 80 touches in opposition's half in the Premier League game since Man City in 2019, which means they had 80 passes in United's side of the field. Brentford had 31 shots on goal at United, 31, scoring with the 31st shot. Could you imagine? They had 31 shots at United. That's not, this is, unaccept, this is unacceptable on an astronomical and stratospherical level. Not acceptable at all. Yet, Eric Ten Hag said, okay, they're weak shots. That's not the fucking point. Brentford hit the woodwork four times. Only Brighton and Man United in September 2000 have, uh, are doing more in Premier League in terms of this record. Man United have faced 20 shots per game in the last seven Premier League games, which means every team in the last seven games has had 20 attempts on United. That is shocking. Absolutely shocking. That is not good enough. Absolutely not good enough. But this is where we are. I will tell you now. I will tell you, heard it first on Soccer As We Like It, the Man United Dash Top five is done. There's no way. And I mean, no way they are going to even make top five. Not with a performance like that. 
you you can't beat Brentford. You got Chelsea on Thursday, you got Liverpool on Sunday. There's no way. So let's stop living in La La Land and embrace the truth that this team is absolutely shit. Look at the just look at the performance today collectively. Brentford three passes on lock our whole defense. I saw one beautiful pass from Brentford. One, two, three. They they they, they opened the whole defense. The midfield was like a, a chainsaw on a Snickers bar, right through the midfield. There was no midfield. The midfield was non-existent. It was really poor. I can say this season, I must say this season must be one of the worst United games this season. This has got to be one of the worst because this, I'm sorry, was embarrassing. It's Brentford who are 15th on the table, which means they are where they are because they're not good enough in the month of March going into April. For United to play this bad? Nah, mate. This is absolutely fucking rubbish. Rubbish. This was not good enough. Congratulations to Mason Mount scoring his first goal. A good workout. Casimiro, Hoyland, but mm -mm. Rashford, Ganacho, had they did absolutely nothing. McTominay, how he stayed there for 90 minutes, I would never understand that. It's like a conspiracy theory. I would never understand that situation. But, I will say this. I'm not going to ruin your Easter. Man United were absolutely shambolic. This was shocking. This was unacceptable on all levels, mate. Unacceptable on all levels. Have a nice Easter. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe on all the social media platforms. Man United won. Brentford won. A day United nearly stole football from its beautiful game. I'll see you on the next one.